Well, good morning. The superintendent criticized COPA's chief for a number of the media interviews that she has done since the release of the Dexter Reed shooting uh, that, of course, was released last week. She says that she was doing it all in the name of transparency. This criticism demonstrates a fundamental lack of understanding of COPA's role and process and smacks of hypocrisy. The one thing that would unquestionably taint the ongoing criminal investigation into this incident would be to make public statements that incorporate information learned from an officer's constitutionally protected interviews with COPA investigators. This is misleading at best. Misleading. When we talk about an officer being interviewed, when you make statements and you put them out in the public, you're framing the mind of the people before the video is even released. We will continue to make sure that this is investigated properly. You will not find me on the Stephen A. Smith show. That last bit was a swipe at COPA's chief, Andrea Kirsten, for doing an interview with the ESPN host. The superintendent says you won't find him doing any interviews about the deadly police-involved shooting last month because he doesn't want to taint the investigation. He says COPA's chief acted irresponsibly when she made public comments after the release of the body cam video last week before interviews with the officers involved were done. The video shows five plainclothes tactical officers pulling Reed over last month with guns drawn for a seatbelt violation. Kirsten publicly questioned the officer's ability to see the violation due to his tinted windows. Not long after the initial stop, Copa says Reed fired at an officer, hitting him in the arm, which led to an exchange of gunfire. Copa says four officers fired a total of 96 rounds at Reed and continued shooting while he was on the ground. Copa's chief said she didn't believe any of the officers had contact with Reed before last month. Say his name! Prior to the meeting, a large demonstration was held outside of police headquarters. The video's release and the circumstances of the stop and deadly shooting have prompted several protests across the city. Now, one thing that protesters, the superintendent, as well as COPA's chief agree on is that they all want transparency in this case, but at least the superintendent and COPA's chief uh, disagree on how that transparency should be handled. We are live at CPD headquarters. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.